A pressure group is a group of people who wish to seek influence from outside of the government. They tend to have narrow issue focus, which means that members of a pressure group are usually united by a specific belief, such as our environment needs to be protected so that we can improve our planet, or a common self-interest like teachers need to be paid more. An important distinction to be made here is what the difference between a social movement and a pressure group is. Social movements share the same quality as pressure groups in the sense that they both are groups of people united by a common belief or interest. The main difference is, social movements lack organisation. So although there are a lot of people supporting the cause, there isn't anything in place for them so they can actually exert influence onto the rest of the world. When referring to the differences in your exam, you should note that pressure groups have a formal structure. You should then go on to mention specific details about the structure, such as that pressure groups have membership structures, leaders and permanent offices that deal with specific issues. Social movements can also be seen as umbrella groups, which bring together both political parties and other pressure groups. An example of this includes the Green Party, otherwise known as the Greens, which join forces with the pressure groups Friends of the Earth and Greenpeace, as well as less known ones like Plain Stupid. So as you can see, because each of them have their own specific formal structures with their own leaders and their own offices, there isn't any obvious structure by which this umbrella group can function. Nevertheless, the different pressure groups can support each other and help each other in reaching a shared goal. You also need to know the difference between inside and outside pressure groups. Inside pressure groups are the ones which have gained the trust of the government, and because of this are able to communicate with MPs and ministers daily. This means that they have great influence over the central executive, and it can therefore be argued that the goal of any pressure group is to gain insider status. You also need to be able to argue the opposite, and state how that some pressure groups, such as Greenpeace, clearly don't want any trust or reputation of any government at all. And they show this by repeatedly breaking the law, doing controversial things, or otherwise getting in the way of governmental plans. Once again, Greenpeace gives us great examples of this. For instance, recently they hung a banner containing President Obama's face and the words Stop Global Warming on Mount Rushmore, and also destroyed an entire half hectare of genetically modified wheat in Australia. Both of these actions were illegal, but gained a lot of publicity. You might think that these pressure groups are doing it wrong by not being on the same side as the government, but by being out there, gaining support, spreading awareness, they fulfil their goals of being a pressure group, which is to apply pressure on the government to change. Nowhere is it written that the government must like the people influencing them in order to pass bills on and debate about the most important topic. After more than 10 years of campaigning from Greenpeace, one of the largest paper companies in the entire world, Asia Pulp and Paper, announced that they would start to implement a forest conservation policy and a commitment to zero deforestation. This shows you the massive influence that outsider groups can have on well-established companies. Having said all of the above about outsider pressure groups, you do need to understand that the government is heavily reliant upon its insider pressure groups because of their specialist knowledge. In fact, some pressure groups are so important that it is a legal requirement that the government and relevant ministers confer with them during the policy-making process. One such example is the National Farmers Union, which must be communicated with under the Agriculture Act passed in 1947.